Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a video on this very makeup look. Okay, this makeup look is gorgeous. I am loving myself with this on. Like, I feel like I need to go somewhere, but I'm not going anywhere. But I feel like I need to go somewhere, but it's just not gonna happen. Nope, 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 nope. But I feel like this look is super pretty, just super glam, just super just, ooh. Um, but yeah, before we get into that video, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking me out and hitting that play button. And while you're hitting that play button, why don't you just hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on and hit that bell so you guys do not miss an upload. Also check out my merch. I have my mugs, my hoodies, um, and then I have some other merch coming for the summer and spring as well. My earring line is a available and up and running i am shipping um uh, for offering free shipping shipping free shipping to the u.s um so if you're in the u.s please make sure you guys are checking these out um i also just launched my um multi-purpose um goat milk and honey soap bar so i will have that linked down in the description box as well which is all available on my shop totaldivaray.com um, everything is listed there. I have these earrings and a bunch of other styles for you to choose from. I also have some new ones being coming to the site really soon by the new year. So make sure you guys are following me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, all of those things. So, you know, when new items get launched and posted to the site. Um, yeah. So this video is going to be on this makeup look. It's going to be using the, one of the new mini palettes from Juvie's Place. This one I use today is the Berries palette. I am going to be doing three other videos featuring the other three palettes, which is the Nuge, Chocolate, and the Violets. This one I wanted to do the Berries because I feel like this is just something I haven't done. I haven't done a cranberry berry look in a like I think I did it once, like for Valentine's Day, like years ago. I'll post that video if it, over here. I know I did like one kind of cranberry look before. But this one is just giving me a totally different vibe and I love it. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Plus I wanted to feature the palettes. Um, these palettes are really, really small. They come with six shadows. Um, this one has four mattes and two like satiny, shimmery, foily kind of shades. Um, I used every color in here except these two for this look. No particular reason, they just weren't like what I was going for for this particular look, but they are still very pigmented. I'm not gonna swatch them. You can check out somebody else's video to swatch them or go on Juvia's Place Instagram and check out swatches. I hate swatching and yeah, I'm, I'm just not gonna do it. Um, but I did wanna show you guys comparison of the size. I believe if you have the Nubian mini palette, which I don't because I have the big Nubian palette, um, I believe it's the same size as that one, but I have, this is probably the smallest palette that they have that they've ever had. So in comparison, it's small. The, the, the mini palettes are smaller than this. And this is the smallest palette I believe that they have. I have all of them except for that Nubian mini, which are similar to the, like, I think they're the exact same shades that are in here, but they pick like the six favorites. So I didn't really need that one. So, yeah, so it's a really small palette. So that'll give you an idea of the size. It is small. Also, I just want to do a quick shout out to them for getting them shipping together for this launch. I appreciate you, Juvia's Place. Like, this was probably that that old school shipping that I'm, I was used to when I first started getting you guys'. I started ordering from you guys. This is probably the first that, that, that gave me that, that moment. Like, when I used to order from you guys in the very, very beginning. I feel like I got that this time. So I'll give credit where credit's due. And I appreciate you guys. I think this literally came in like, I think I ordered it the day they posted on their Instagram. I think I got it like two days later, maybe like a day later. Maybe it was like a day in between, like a day and a half. I, I literally got it a lot faster than the shipping notification had said. Like the shipping notification said January 7th and it's still December, so I got it. So shout out to y'all. Thank you, appreciate you. Um, that way I can get these videos out on time 
and post when everyone else is posting. So shout out to them for that. Um, yeah, I will just let you know what lashes I'm using. I don't really know why because I don't even think this brand is around anymore. But this by a brand called Lash Craze. Um, it's their Angel Lashes and I doubled them. The only reason I'm showing this to you guys now is because I didn't show me applying these lashes in the video because I forgot they were sitting here drying for me for the glue to get tacky and I'm just like, oh shit, I didn't put my lashes on. So that's the only reason guys, you guys didn't see me put these on in the video. But I just doubled a pair of these and you know, got these lashes and they are giving me, I love them. I love them. These are great practice lashes if you don't want to like use like your Remy lashes or mink lashes. I don't really think this brand is around anymore, but honestly, they're probably quite similar to like the ones you get on like Wish or eBay or like those big long. They're probably the same things, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I got these years ago and I forgot that I have a whole bunch of different styles of these and I need to put them to use. So that's what I did. So those are that and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All the lists of the products that I use will be down in the description box for you guys to check them out. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. So I'm hopping right in. I'm going to go in and prime my glaze with my Urban Decay Primer Potion in, in uh, the original formula. And I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 11 and apply that as well and just blend that out. Um, all the brushes that I'm using in this particular video is from Sedona Lace. I will have a link down below if you guys want to check them out. Um, these are the Midnight Brushes. I actually love these. I got these years ago and I haven't used them in a while, but I pulled them back out and I still love them. Next, I'm gonna go into the Berries palette and I'm gonna go in with that deep shade in the top row and just use that initially as my transition color and just apply it. This applies so beautiful. Um, I know people ask, does the shades like these stain your eyes? I actually watched, washed my face the same day and I didn't get any staining, so this particular kind of red shade didn't stain on, um, stain on me, so. That's good. Next, I'm gonna go in with the deepest shade in the palette and I'm just gonna apply that to the outer corner of my eye. I believe I also apply it to the inner corner, which I wasn't originally planning on doing this, but I was just going with the flow for this look. Next, I'm gonna apply a little bit of concealer to the center of my eyelid just so I can prepare it for the next shade. I didn't wanna do a cut crease, but I wanted to make sure this color Popped. and I'm gonna go in with that last shade in the top row and apply that to the center of my lip such a pretty color I love 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 this color so pretty just, just perfect perfect kind of cranberry satin shade and I just pack that on and I just take my time when I'm packing on eyeshadows um, and just blend it all together I go back and forth between the two brushes um, that I've been using with the different shades and just really defining all the areas. And then I'm going to go in with that middle shade and just put that on my brow bone highlight. Um, not for highlight, just because I applied my foundation off camera, but I am going to show you guys my highlight and contour routine. I feel like it's pretty redundant. I'm using the Juvia's Place um, I Am Magic Concealer in the shade 11 and number 4 to highlight and contour. Kalahari. With their setting powders, I like to apply it using a brush, not a sponge. Just I just don't like the way it sets when I use a damp beauty blender. So that's why you guys see me doing that. I don't bake, but I just make sure I brush away all the excess. Now I'm going to go in with this. I don't know. I don't really like it. It's a deck of Scarlet's Illuminator. Um, I thought it was going to be a lot brighter when I applied it in my inner tear duct. So I was like, no. So I went in with one of the Tribe highlighters. I forgot which one. I think it was volume two. 
and just put that over top and I go in and do my usual contour using the Black Radius Contour Palette. Now I'm going to go in and align my lash line with the Juvia's Place Gel Liner. Do they still make these? I don't know. If they do, I'll have it linked down below. Now I'm going to go in with the two shades that I used in my transition and the shade that I used in the inner and outer corner of my eyes and apply that to the lower lash line to really smoke this look out and bring it all together. And I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Namib, I think it's Namib, um, setting powder from Juvia's Place as well. Now I'm going to go in with that first shade, which was my transition shade, and I'm going to use that as my blush. And then you guys are going to see me trying to trying to pick a lip, a lippy, which I don't know what I was going to do um, in a minute. And I ended up lining my lips with the NYX espresso liner and then I actually ended up going with um, the dose of color bury me liquid lipstick for this look it was so pretty and it went so well with it it was like the perfect perfect shade like these two were like a match made in heaven so I went in with this shade and that honestly completes the look guys I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you in my next installment for this video okay guys bye